How's it going YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a DSLR or compact SLR um, screen mount for your uh, camera. So it's a bit of a more high-end screen than what you'd normally get on your typical SLR or your compact camera. Um, this is about £140 on Amazon at the minute, so I'll put the link in the description if you want to know where to buy it. But it looks quite, quite a good write-up, so it's the um, ESDDI F5 4K HDMI in and out is what it's saying, which is kind of good. So if you do have a DSLR camera that can do uh, 4K uh, footage, it'd be good to see it on this thing. So it should be a bit better quality than what you get in your normal stock camera. So um, very dis discreet box, not much going on there, so let's just uh, open this up and uh, see what we have. So there we go. Okay, so first thing we have is a little uh, free gift card so you can get some extra bits. Um, you know, got a lav mic on there, battery for the monitor, which is kind of cool because it is a battery operated monitor, or a smart plug, so it's kind of cool that you get that with it. Um, we also have, let's see what this is. Um, open up the bag. Yeah, there we go. All right. So this, we are. I'm sure we're getting this out. Okay, this is so uh, it's like a Velcro mount. So it's like a uh, not sure exactly. Maybe we'll find out what the crack is when we go further in. The screen itself, uh, quite lightweight. Um, check out this polystyrene, we've got the user manual, oh, this is like some kind of quality certificate, certified assured stuff, um, user manual, quite an in-depth user manual actually, quite big, uh, most of it is in different languages, um, but you get oh, everything you need to know, yeah, that's a, oh, it's a shunshay, a, shun a sunshade, <laughs> that's what that is, a sunshade, that's cool, because it says there, um, so you get this Velcro strip that you have to um, attach to the actual uh, camera and then you put it around it and it blocks out the sun, so that's cool to have in case you're using it outside. Very cool stuff. Okay, let's see what else we've got. Uh, we have a battery charger, um, so that's cool. Now, this is, I did buy this from Amazon UK, so it'll be interesting to see what they give you to charge it actually up with. You get a mount, looks like a metal Oh, it's not plastic, it's, it's metal, very good quality, feels heavy as well, so uh, well made and I'm guessing that's for your slot for your actual on top of your camera there, so you do get that. Um, we have here the battery itself, quite a big chunky battery, 2200 milliamps, so it should last quite a long time, so that's cool that you get that and that just slots into the, uh, the charger there, hopefully it'll have some charge in it so I can demo it. For you guys but yeah it just goes in there like that which is good to see um, we've got the micro usb charger all right so that actually charges through micro usb um, so you don't need to plug you can just plug it straight into the computer or something like that to charge it or a usb mains plug um, we've got hd tv to micro hdmi cable by the looks of it yeah that's a micro hdmi uh, out uh, input um, and then you've got normal HDMI there, so that's nice that you get that with it. Um, most cameras use micro HDMI, mine does anyway. This is a normal full size HDMI to mini HDMI adapter. So you've got the mini HDMI on one end. And this one's actually gold plated, but the other one isn't, so that's interesting. Uh, so yeah, mini HDMI, if you've got a camera that does that. Nothing else in the box. Let's have a look at the actual screen itself. Okay, so here we have the screen. It comes with a screen protector actually already on it. That's good to see. Um, and it does tell you to, um, you know, you can peel it off if you want, but it does say you can leave it on. So I probably will peel it off. Um, here you've got the um, Velcro attachment here on the side there, which um, that's where you attach the sunshade to. So if I just pop that on real quick, here's your sunshade. If I just go like that, stick it on, see what it looks like. Look at that. So you now get a nice cool little uh, funky sunshade there. So if you are using it in bright kind of uh, weather, 
um, or really sunny, then you can still see it. That's quite cool, actually. I quite like that. Um, but yeah, you just take that off. Comes off dead easy. Uh, so yeah, on the side there, you've got the HDMI in, HDMI out, and you've got your DC 12 volt in if you want to charge it that way. You've got a DC out, 8.4 volt. Um, got the menu button at the top there, up down arrows, you've got the power button there as well, you've got the side buttons, F1, F2, you've got push to release for your battery pack, and that's a little mount there where you can screw it onto your mount, you've got a little headphone jack there as well, um, so you're not short of connections with this thing, uh, it's got a, a semi-gloss, is it semi-gloss finish to the screen? screen? Oh, it's actually a full gloss screen, so it's not like matte or semi-matte or anything like that. Um, so let's just see what it looks like when you put the actual um, battery on. Uh, let me just figure out, you just slide it off like that. You get the battery, it's got two little notches there. And then you just slide the battery on like so, by the looks of it. Should we see if it turns on? Oh, it's turning on, look at that. And it just says HDMI, so it shouldn't show anything on the screen, I guess. Let's see, unless we've got menu. Yeah, it's got some basic stuff there. Very cool stuff. It's quite a good quality uh, display, actually. Quite sharp. I'll show you with the close-ups, you can see how sharp it actually is, but you can set different picture modes as well, which is nice. Um, I'm going to keep it on standard for now. You can change the tint. You can um, change the color temperature, you can set user profiles. That's cool. Um, how do I go back? Uh, menu, yeah, there we go. Go to the side, we've got English, change the language, no signal screens, all that kind of stuff. Obviously, it'll explain how to do this in the actual user manual. I'm just skimming through it because, you know, that's how I roll. Zoom, zoom mode, all that kind of stuff. That's cool. Menu, go back. Oh, which one is it? I'm getting used to these buttons. Um, center marker, that's nice. That's got that nine grid. Yeah, some anamorphic. You can you can do quite a bit with this, actually. It's quite cool. Uh, it's got a histogram. Nice. Peak color, overexposure, all that kind of cool stuff. Uh, and then, yeah basic stuff like it I'm gonna just attach it to my camera so we can get a better idea of how it works it does actually come with some battery already on it 80% battery charge good to see that um, just comes out of the box and um, lithium iron you can actually update the firmware to it got USB mini USB there which I didn't see um, so that's cool uh, I'm gonna plug, plug it into my camera see what it looks like see if it works Alright guys, so check it out, um, I'm just filming this on my phone so you get an idea of what it's going to look like. Um, but yeah, it actually um, fits on quite well on uh, my uh, little mini compact uh, Lumix G7 here. Um, so if you have a look there, um, you get the bracket with that goes straight on there and you can flip it around you know, different ways. I, I like how it, they thought about where your microphones are going to go. So I've just mounted my microphone here and you can just tighten it up, it just slots straight in, you know, like it does there. So it slots straight in there and you can just tighten it up, which is cool. Um, a good thing is, is uh, when you're actually using it, it doesn't deactivate the, um, the original uh, screen. So that stays on, as well as the, uh, the main one. Now the quality of this um, is actually really good. I'm quite impressed with the quality of it. It's very sharp. You can tell how sharp it is. Um, I don't know if you'll see it that well on my phone, but let's see if we can get some close up there of you know what it's going to look like. Um, but it is actually a really sharp display um, when you compare it to the uh, stock one. The stock one is good, um, but it's just not big enough, you know, to see the quality of the. Um, camera um, you know lens there there are some details that I was lost in the stock one like here you know the brickwork um, when you go there the brickwork um, it's not quite as no, it's not quite there but like this one you can actually see it straight away as night as day um, 
So I do like that. Uh, I like how they thought about where the mic goes. That's brilliant. Can't fault them for that. This is very solid being a metal bracket, um, which is good to see. Um, it just simply tightens on using this um, little uh, little uh, bolt there. Just kind of tightens on with that, and you can use a screw to screw that onto there. But this mic actually has its own little uh, screw there. You can loosen the screen with this and tighten it with that, and of course you can um, angle it different ways as well, which is nice to see. You can flip it all the way around, or you can move this out and rotate it. If you loosen this, you can actually rotate it and put it a different way. So the good thing about having it set up like this is you could have that, you know, facing you, or you could have it facing out like that, um, and then have this one the other way around. So you could have that facing that way and that one. So, so you can actually see what you're filming um, uh, if you're not at the camera, you know, and you're watching yourself, you know, or doing unboxing, it's perfect for me, really. Um, so I am quite impressed with how that's turned out. Um, see there, get a better idea of what it looks like there. So, yeah, it's quite a cool setup. Um, I, what I don't like is how long this cable is. I can see why they're doing it long because they don't know what kind of setup you're using but it's probably a bit too long for me I would have preferred a cable that's kind of like this with a coil so you can change um, where it uh, you know it, it doesn't have to be that long but you know I can always buy one of them it's not a big deal um, but other than that it's really good uh, one more thing as well it is what I have noticed that the um, speed of the response between the camera what it sees isn't quite as quick as the inbuilt one um, so say for example if I put my uh, hand there you can kind of uh, see how there's a little slight delay when compared to the um, uh, the stock screen um, but I'm not sure if that's to do with the cable or maybe the frame rate of the camera but it's not that big of a deal to me it's not a deal breaker because it'll be fine for what I kind of use it for. So thanks for watching my unboxing and re uh, quick review of the ESDDI was it F5 4K. Um, like I said, you've got your settings, you've got loads of stuff in there, so just have a look at that. Um, brilliant stuff in there with your settings. Um, and don't forget to subscribe. I have got a video, uh, the link to where to buy this um, down below in the description. So let us know um, if you want to, um, just click on there if you want to buy it. Cheers, guys.